right, we'll go ahead and lower the bed, folks. Again, it's as simple as moving the pins. We've got the higher station here. We've got this one. If we drop the back on the uh, couch, we can go all the way down almost to the top of the wheel well. You just pull pins. Set them at the height that you want. So the pins are there. When you're traveling, there's no weight on the cables. These pins have all the weight. That's why you see I've got to lift up just a little bit. And then we put the pins down lower here, and when we lower the bed, again, there's no weight on the cables. It's all on the pins. So when we get in the bed, all the weight's on the pins. So again, we got the remote. Turn it on. Hopefully we got good battery. And we hit out, which is down. go we're all the way down on the pins we just shut the power off on that again and I just keep that right in here okay this is our bed and Robert's gonna show you how it works and it's just so nice to have a comfortable bed and then it lifts all the way up and out of the way and you still have all your floor space so it it like doubles your space but now it's robert all right again folks what i'll do is this is just a uh it's called Super Strut. It's in the electrical section at Home Depot is what I made the bed frame out of. Um, and I'll post a couple pictures of that when I was putting it together. I don't, unfortunately, have a whole bunch of pictures. But I'll post what I have so you get an idea. So we did the frame. I put half inch plywood on top of it, uh, did the square frame, and then there's three cross sections of the same super strut. And I just used some L brackets to bolt all that together. I cut it to length, bolted it all together. And then I've got this header board that just screwed on here, painted the same as what our cabinet doors are and stuff. And then we put Teresa's wings on here. Like I said, I took the trim back off of this side. So, if you look up here, here's the rail coming up in the front, and it comes up to that pulley, and then it goes back through a double pulley, which also catches the one coming up that strut, and then that double pulley pulls it down over the hook there for the winch, and also in that corner, you see the one coming from behind that other trim board, uh, anyway, you see that one coming up, um, and then they all go into that hook once you get the balance right, uh, you know, level. And then, like I said, the weight's off of them right now. So I'm going to zoom over here to this channel and show you, hopefully, if we can focus. That uh, that trolley wheel has that bolt, and it bolts right into the side of the bed. Then the cable comes down, wraps right around that bolt deal on that bed. And that's on all four contact points. And again, the trolley wheels just roll right up there. Uh, and on these, maybe it'll be easier to show you on this side, you know, we've got the holes cut. 
so I've got that one cut high that's where I actually uh, pulled the bed up to get the cables tight and the one below that the second one below it is where the bed rides when we're on the road it's almost up pretty tight against the ceiling uh, and then of course we can drop it down to this level which is a little bit higher than what it is now and then the level that it's at and we also have the very bottom down here that's right above the wheel well it'll also go all the way down there if we just drop the back on the couch um, I'm gonna have to give the camera back to Teresa I'm gonna have to get the bed back up and then I can show you the back I'll get the bed back up and get it pinned up and then I can show you the back the way that that uh, cables connect back there with the turnbuckle so again we just turn it on it's remote now we want to go in which is up and what I'll do is take these pillows off of here because we do go all the way up to the ceiling I don't want anything getting in too much of a bind here we go So, you hear it starting to bind, that's where I want it, because I want to actually put the pins in, and then put the weight on the pins. So again, you just pull the pin where you're at, come over here, give it a little lift, okay, do that at all four of them. Like I said, you could hear it almost start binding. That mattress is up against the ceiling. And that's that's what we want. This one's a little tight to get in because of the cables right here. So actually I can tell that I've got this side just a little bit high right now. So I'm going to show you that turnbuckle here in a second that I can use to adjust that side to side and I need to tighten that other side up just a little bit but now that I'm now that I'm up and I've got my pins in I want to lower the bed down make sure that it's on the pins now again I can see over there that I have no weight on my cables all the weight is on the pins this is the way it travels. It ain't going to go anywhere. So now I'll take the camera again and I'll try to show you folks. Again, we got the two rails coming up this side. Uh, again, I don't have great light, but they go up. There's a loop there that holds a pulley. And that runs that down and across here you see the cables okay and right here oops sorry oh I missed it this is a tight spot to to get into okay there's the cables that's where they're tightened I still I need to put another deal on there but then I've got that turnbuckle that's what I use to level from left to right level the sides uh, make sure that it goes up even and like I said I need to tighten it up a little bit because I'm seeing that this curbside is a little bit low and then there's the cable going there that actually comes around and this is <laughs> this is the cable that we're just looking at that comes from the other side these two are from this side so they all come down and they go into this hook and I also took the cover off around the uh, winch here so this is a winch um, I just got a box cover that goes over that and then I've got a lithium motorcycle battery and I just use a 
uh, trickle charger for that. I've yet to run the wire back from the box out front. Um, once I do that, it'll keep that charged. Um, I just throw a trickle charger on it every once in a while. That lithium battery lasts a long time with this bed. It does, I think, have a little parasitic draw uh, because it's a remote, so I think it's pulling a little power all the time. But again, now you can stand there and show them when the bed's up. See? Bed's all the way up against the ceiling. We've opened all that room up. What do you think? And granted, it's, I have a lot of room. I do stand 5'4", and that's flat-footed. So, depending on your height, you should be able to come through and, and through the door to the yeah. garage. This is the same exact so. height as that doorway, um, which is right at six feet. So this is a seven foot trailer. So we've got just a little over a foot up there, I think, um, on the bed. I mean, it'll go up a little bit tighter, but I, I don't like to put too much tension on those cables. Excuse me. And also, I'm spoiled, so we do have an 8-inch gel foam mattress. Yeah, we bought the 8-inch memory foam uh, gel, infused. gel infused mattress off of Amazon. That mattress sleeps better than any mattress that I've ever slept on. So, um, But anyway, folks, hopefully that answered your questions on the bed. Hopefully it explained it a little bit better. And like I said, I'll drop in a few stills of the frame and stuff as I was putting it together. I didn't take enough pictures. Um, but anyway, you can see it in operation here. Okay, have a good night and don't forget, find your freedom. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.